Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a massive Dutch pour and I'm super nervous. Um, it's a lot of paint. <laughs> it's a lot of product. It's a lot of Floetrol. It's, I don't care about the water, but it's a lot of everything else. Oh my gosh. This is, sorry, there's a little bit in there. This is a 30 by 48 inch canvas. And holy moly, my white is just a little bit weird. I think I have a, had a bad batch of that artist loft white, but I had already mixed it. And so I filtered it and got most of the chunks out, but there may be a few more. Um, so I will remove them as I see them. Um, as you can see, it's a split pour, split color pour. And there's a lot of paint on this canvas. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna get to it because frankly, I've already been prepping it for two hours of pouring paint. Ah, I have paint all over me. Oh my gosh. I just touched the side over here where my blue is. So I'm gonna pour some over here because I'm leaning too much into it. So I'm just gonna get this side smooth again. So, um, as you can see, color split, I have kind of, uh, I am inspired by Canelis Racco. She did this uh, several videos ago, but it was super pretty. Um, she did a color split, but it was a diptych. And I wanted to do it on one canvas. So this is kind of an aqua green color that I made. And then a bluish green color that I made because I didn't have the same colors as her, but I really liked them. So I wanted them to be similar. Sorry, I'm moving around so much. Uh, I will show you my colors as I put them down and I'll blow them out and pray for the best and pray it doesn't shift on me because again, there are so many colors. <laughs> it's so many colors. All right, so I have dioxazine purple I'm gonna put down here and I do wanna bring I'm going to do what she did also by putting the aqua green down on the darker blue side and the darker blue on the aqua green side. So I'm going to pour myself a couple of cups of that just so I have that available here. Sorry. It's also almost midnight, so it's been a very, very long week at work. Uh, this is the end of the year, so elective surgeries, which uh, is what I do. They are tremendously busy. And so this has been such a busy week at work, work at week. Oh my gosh, week at work. <laughs> I did say that, did I really say that? It's been so busy and so I'm kind of spent, but it's okay. My kids love them to death that they are at their dad's house, my ex-husband's house for the weekend. So I get to chill. So I'm gonna lay my colors here. I'm gonna pull my sleeves up. Cause I'm wearing a sweatshirt, it's cold, so I don't know why I put on a sweatshirt because it's always seems to be in the way. So I'll just pull those out of the way here for you. All right, there's a fuzz. And let me lay, lay my colors down. So I'm gonna go with that dioxazine purple first on each of these lines. And I'm gonna lay heavily because there's so much space. But not Try not to go too heavy because I don't want this to shift because I leave too much color on the canvas either. That would be a problem. So it's a balance. I don't want too little color either. All right, so that one's done. Um, then I think I'm going to go with this Sterling Silver by DecoArt Americana Metallics. Just over that line. Yeah, I'm sorry. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Above that, I think I'm gonna go with this Glacier Blue by Modern Masters. And these are all mixed with um, Floetrol and water to a thin consistency for a Dutch pour. And then above this, I have a violet purple that is mixed actually with um australian flow troll so i'm just gonna drizzle some of that in there too 
this is so much paint, but it's a large surface. So I really want to make sure my negative space is not ignored. I'm going to throw in the green on this side. And the darker blue on that side. I don't think I've ever done a split pour dash pour in this size. I'm going to go with a phthalo blue. In both of these. This is phthalo blue by um, Liquitex Basics. And then I'm going to do a white cell activator. So this is white, um, Amsterdam titanium white, just a little bit, Oop, a little bit more there. And then lastly, I'm going to go with the quinacridone magenta by Liquitex basics mixed with a little bit of the hot orchid by prism pour. Wow. This is so much color. Oh, I hope this is successful because otherwise I've wasted so much paint. Oh my goodness. I really like this magenta, so I'm going to throw in a little bit more, I think. Just drizzle a little bit more and make sure I have enough. You guys, this is a lot of paint. Holy heck. And I think I'm just going to go with a little bit more of the white cell activator. Just because. I want some lacing throughout here. And just to get it done. Get it over with. And a little bit more of that violet cell activator. Same reason. Because why not go... I'm already going big and I am home, so I'm just going to do it all. Let's finish that off. Whoa! I think I need my big torch. Just really quickly pop bubbles. Oh my god! Watch, I'm not recording. I'm recording, right? Okay, good. <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. All right. I'm going to start up high on that green side. Bring it in into the middle. Hold the cord back. my gosh I'm so excited I love these colors I'm not gonna bring my um, blow dryer back into it because if you keep on going over it with your blow dryer you can muddy the colors so I'm gonna blow a couple of spots like especially right here because it was moving a little sluggishly you guys these cells are so phenomenal now I have all kinds of clothes and body parts I'm gonna hold back because I really don't want to get this corner right this piece piece here
so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Whoop, stop talking. Get you guys down all the way off of that tripod and show you what I did. Cause this is amazing to me. Amazing to me. I am in love with this. I'm gonna even, not even try to save these gloves because I'm so excited. Let me turn off my lights here as I do and get you down and show you what I'm working with. Woo, almost dropping things, I'm so excited. Ran into some coasters that are waiting for resin. Very carefully, I've got my lanyard around my wrist on this phone so it does not drop into this piece. Wow, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It is spectacular. I'm gonna go zoomed in. So look at all the different cells and the shimmer and the lacing and oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I added, I'm gonna, this little white line right here, I'm gonna blow it out just a little bit, sorry. One moment. So it's not straight. Oh, and that cell activator. So you'll see what blowing that did. One more. So I'm gonna start over. So that straight line that I just had, this is what it became because I blew it out. Ah, right there, oh my gosh. And so you'll see that shiv that silver is in there uh, adding a shimmer to all of it. Oh, I can't wait until this dries. Oh my gosh, look at all this. And those little quinacridone, magenta little bubbles there and little spots there are so pretty. Wow, I'm so glad I did this. This was definitely the way to end a crazy week. Look at that, all that, oh, it's so lovely. I love how that looks. It's gonna take me like four minutes to get beyond here and show you all the pretty little spots. Look at them, there's so many. Adding cell activators to a Dutch board does such interesting things. I'm gonna go back up here so you can see the top again. Oh, those sharp lines right there, they look perfect. That little glimpse of negative space right there is amazing to me. Let's see, oh goodness. And this is where I blew it out just to soften that edge a little bit. And so it adds such interest. So like even those little hard lines like that, the little outline lines, they're so pretty. Let me not drop my phone. That would be very disappointing. So yay, it worked. <laughs> now it's got to just dry perfectly. Make sure you scrape your edges under sides so it doesn't pull your composition because I'm super happy with this composition. Look at all those shimmery little bubbles. It's so bubbly. Hey, so happy. Look at all this. My hand is getting tired and this bluish green color is so pretty. And I added a little bit of the iridescent medium to all my base colors so they're shiny too, so. But look at that. It's so transparent and so interesting right there. But this, oh, I'm so happy. This is so fun. I absolutely love this art form. There's no better way to end the week. I don't need anything. Um, it's just being able to do this art for you guys. I don't even know if I can't even get this whole thing in the picture. But oh, yay. I'm going to turn it around. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Let me know what you think of uh, this big giant piece in the comments below. I'm so happy. If anyone's interested, it's available. If it's not picked up, I'm going to put it above my bed in my bedroom. I'm so excited. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a comment and let me know why you like it. Hit the subscription button and maybe ring that bell a little bit for notifications. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a good night. Bye.